In this video, we are going to show you the user interface and some major functions and tools available for you in SolidEdge. Once you open SolidEdge, this pop-up window comes up, which lets the user decide what they want to work on, whether it is a part, assembly, sheet, or an engineering drawing. Also, the user has the option if they want to work in metric or customer system. Once you have decided what you want to work on, click on the icon. For this example, we will select the metric part option. Now that you are in the active workspace, in the left side of the screen, you can see the Pathfinder. Pathfinder contains all the elements in the active document. You can select elements in the Pathfinder and control their display. Furthermore, by right-clicking on the synchronous in the Pathfinder, you can switch to order modeling. On the bottom right of the screen, you can find different view options, including zoom, pan, and different views. Also, Plain Cube can help you in navigating different views of your model. To find commands quickly, use the command finder located on the bottom right of your screen. You can search for the commands by command name or by capability. Command finder also aids more experienced user migrating to SolidEdge from other products. Typing in a search item or keyword from a competing product will help find matching command in SolidEdge. For example, typing shell in the command bar will give you the equal command in SolidEdge. At the bottom of your screen, you can find the prompt bar, which displays prompts and messages related to a command that you select. If you are stuck on what is the next step to take to complete your command you have selected, try to pay attention to the prompt bar. If you are still in need of help and tutorials, another useful tool is the help button. Help tool is not limited to just commands, but can also be used for any tips or tutorials for any subject matter that a user requires. Additional online links are available in the help tool that can guide the user to necessary information and tutorials. There are many other tabs available in SolidEdge as you can see on the top including simulation, generative design, reverse engineering. These tabs can help you in all aspects of your design. Now it's time for you to start designing with SolidEdge and if you have any problems don't forget to use the SolidEdge user community website for more help.